Hey everyone, I'm Grant the Rusty Autoholic Guy and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing something that I should have done months ago, but it wasn't a big enough issue that I really cared. And that is dropping my fuel tank to adjust the fuel sending unit for my fuel gauge. Now, ever since I got it installed, I knew it was off. When I had the fuel tank completely full of diesel, it was about three quarters of a tank. When it was empty, it was around a quarter of a tank left on my gauge. So. I knew the arm wasn't positioned correctly because if you remember, I retrofitted a diesel lift pump into my stock TJ Wrangler fuel tank. Now, today I am going to be fixing that because I actually bought this. This is a aluminum skid plate for the stock TJ Wrangler fuel tank. And the best part is this actually lifts the fuel tank by about two inches. So I'm going to get two additional inches of ground clearance at the rear of my Wrangler, which is going to just give me a much better departure angle now when I go to climb obstacles. And huge shout out to John. He was the one that sold it to me on Facebook. You know who you are. Thank you so much. He met me. Uh, saved me about an hour of driving, I'm guessing, and he was super cool and really worked with me on getting this to me. So, huge shout out to him. Thank you so much. Really awesome guy. So, what I'm about to do is disconnect my fuel tank. So, we're going to have to disconnect the fuel filling uh, tube. We're going to have to disconnect the return line, the feed line, and the power to the lift pump itself. So, I'm going to get to work. All right. A real side effect of doing this, I just realized, is I'm probably going to end up having to retrim this hose because I'm actually lifting the gas tank by about two inches. So that's something I'm going to have to keep in mind when I go to reassemble all of this. Okay. Hose camp is completely loose. Out it comes. With this out, now we can start lowering the fuel tank. Once we get the fuel tank lowered a little bit, we'll disconnect all the lines and all the electrical. All right, I have my transmission jack underneath the fuel tank. I'm going to use this to help support the tank as I remove all the fasteners and lower the tank down. Now, let's see if we can't slide the fuel tank out. like something is acting like it's connected it's not and that it's actually the breather hose from the rear axle gotta just shoved it right there all right okay so this was actually supposed to stay like that and that's leaking diesel fuel Whew. I'm gonna spray both nuts and studs with some PP blaster because they are fairly corroded and rusty and I am a little bit worried about being able to get them off Thank you. 
anyway, this is one of those situations where actually recording myself just really saved me. I couldn't find one of the cams so I could get the straps on. And in reviewing my own footage, it fell into the skid plate. I didn't pick it up. And then I pushed the fuel tank into the skid plate, which is why it's not seating correctly. So now I'm going to spend the next few minutes trying to lift the tank back out of this skid plate so I can get that one cam so I can install this correctly. This is going to be fun. There's the cam gear. Realize I keep calling it a cam gear. It's probably not a cam gear, but I just can't think of the technical term of what is it called. But it's out. So now we can try reinstalling this tank again. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. I've run into a couple of things. Mainly, I cannot get the straps close enough to install the bolt. And right now they're about a quarter inch too far away for the bolt to fit. And instead of risking damaging my fuel tank or these aluminum straps, I'm just going to go get longer hardware. I'll install it that way, and if the tank drops anymore and I can reinstall the original hardware, I'll just do that. But the other thing I realized is, instead of trying to mess with the lift pump while the tank is out from underneath my Wrangler and trying to adjust the fuel level sending unit, I went ahead and ordered the Genrite fuel pump access panel for my TJ Wrangler. So I'm going to wait for that to come in. I'm going to cut a hole in the back of my TJ so I can install the access port. And that way, I can make all the adjustments to the lift pump without having to drop the tank. Because right now, I would have to take a guess, put the tank back up, hook up everything, turn it on, see if it works, and just kind of keep going back and forth. At least this way, I just do it once. And if I still need to make adjustments to the fuel sending unit, I don't have to drop the tank in the future. So anyway, it's YouTube. You know what to do. Take out more than you bring. Tread lightly, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Tank. Well, I had a guess on how that arm needed to be bent because the, the thingy and the thingy with the thingy has to be bit thingy and it goes upy thingy and downy thingy and that tells you how many thingies you have in the thingy. And I didn't do the thingy correctly. <laughs> that I've actually had ever since I got my diesel swap TJ Wrangler. Wrangler. <laughs> Wrangler. Ever since I got my Wrangler running. <laughs> I got this.